Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Yay, it's Monday. No, so today I wanted to do a morning routine, quick morning routine, since the last video that I did was very much a nighttime routine. So um, it's in the morning. Usually when I'm doing this, Olivia's running around. I've got something on TV in there for her. She's playing in here. Um, but she, obviously since I'm filming and she'd like be having no part of this, um, she's downstairs eating breakfast with Brad. So I figured I would just go ahead and do this. I'm gonna show you the products that I used and everything. And um, we'll just go ahead and get started. Most days I just do things very quickly. Literally I just got up and I threw my hair up. I'll kind of show you what I do to my hair real quick. I put on a sweatshirt because I like to be cozy in the morning. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when it does get a little hotter later, I'm gonna change. I don't even know with this. I don't even know with this weather, you guys. Um, I'm gonna wash my face really quick. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know with this weather. Like I said, I don't even usually let the water get warm. So let me just. I'm just gonna show you this. Um, this is what I use, the Murad Anti-Aging Acne Cleanser. They have changed the packaging. I have repurchased this upward of probably like 10 times. And I don't know which packaging I prefer. I like the look of this one better, but you can't see the product in it, so I don't know when I'm getting low. So yeah, just like I do at night, I just wash my face with cold water. I don't know if that like really makes a difference. Um, but we really in the morning, need something kind of gentle. You don't want to like be scrubbing your face off in the morning. That's actually probably way too much that I just used. Um, but this is a very creamy cleanser. It does, it's going everywhere. It doesn't um, foam or anything. Oh my gosh, I need to go to the sink. It's just enough to kind of like get your skincare from the night before off and just make your skin feel nice. I have to clean my face in the morning. I don't understand. It's just nasty, I don't know. So you, gotta, you gotta just wash your face. So, um, what else? Yeah, a lot of times I'm just like wearing a robe. I feel like I kinda did that in the last video, so I'd go ahead and like get somewhat dressed. I live in these L&M sweatshirts. I love them so much. Usually I don't even have my jewelry on yet, but before videos, I don't know, I always have to. Um, okay, so, in the mornings I don't use those pads on my face, but I use the anti-back still. And it's very gentle. To me, it's very gentle. I don't know. Even when I first started using it, um, I had no irritation. It just, it's just nice. Oh my gosh, it just keeps your skin so nice. Um, but yeah, if you didn't watch that nighttime video, you could check that out. Now, if I had a little more time or, I don't know, if I was just like really wanting to pamper myself one morning, I would probably use this. I love using moisturizing masks in the morning because they make your makeup go on so much better. I mean, at night you're using a moisturizer anyways, and in the day, but I just, I don't know, like if I'm gonna use a mask that like makes my skin plump up and, or like a sheet mask or something, I like doing that in the morning. Um, this one I love, it's the First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask, and it's like this cool, like if I tilted it to the side, it would like run out. This is just so cool, I love this thing so much. Um, it smells kind of like cucumbers. Yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah, I'd probably like wash my face, then use that, then rinse it off, and then put all my stuff. And then I use this, the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. I'm getting a little low on this one. I don't think I'll repurchase this one since I have the um, the other one that I that I really like to use at night, the one that's more of a gel. But I ordered a Clinique moisturizer for the daytime that has a really good SPF in it. Sometimes I use other products on my face that have it, which I will show you. Am I gonna use that one? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna use. But um, yeah, it's just a good moisturizer. You cannot go wrong with those. Yeah, she goes, I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like I just look like the last night. I don't know what it was. Like I put this hand cream on before bed and then my eyes were itching and like watering because do you get fall allergies? I do, it's, it's gross. It's like, it's really no fun. I'm wetting my beauty blender. And I started rubbing my eyes and it like got in my eyes and my eyes started burning from that. So I was like, great, in the morning my eyes are gonna be all like, Ugh. I really wanna talk about my Clinique foundations. These are just so easy, you guys. The Acne Solutions, the Even Better, which this one has SPF 15, they even have an even better glow now. But this one actually says it's luminous. Like when you look up info about it, it says it has like luminous minerals and all this stuff. And it is very luminous, so I like that. And then I have this one, which is SPF 40 Clinique Acne Solutions BB, which I think that's what I'm gonna use. Just to show you how I do this one, this one is amazing. It has no salicylic acid or anything, so don't let the acne solutions like scare you. Everyone needs to try this, it's so good. 
Um, so what I do, it's very thin. I put a little bit on my hand and I still use my beauty blender with it because you get the best result like that. So the coverage with this stuff is amazing and since I used, or since I have, been, well, I want to say like have been using, because I've really only used it once, uh, because you don't need to use it very often. The Dermaflash, you use it every two weeks or so. I'm not kidding you, my makeup has looked so much better. I just love that stuff so much. So anyways, I'm obsessed with this Clinique Acne Solutions BB. And those of you guys, because I've been talking about this stuff for years, that have tried it, just like rave about it too. It's so good. Um, yeah, so... And it just feels comfortable. A lot of times I don't even use that at all. I just, you know, I've been enjoying my skin. I feel like it's been good. So then I use the Trish McAvoy Instant Eye Lift. This whole, like, hey, I'm getting ready in the morning is very just easy. Like, I'm not doing, like, a lot of, you know, not, like, using my MAC Prep and Prime to, like, look white right there. And I'm not, like, laying all this stuff. This is almost out, actually. I really like this stuff and sometimes like I'll even do this like I'll put it on my brow bone and then use just the same beauty blender so it's nice you don't have to like bust out a bunch of brushes or anything you have to wet your beauty blender at the sink anyway so if you need to clean it then you can I just love it okay so what I'm doing I'm using this Urban Decay Demolition this is like super easy everyday makeup you guys like it couldn't be easier so I just put this on my upper lash line, like no big deal. I didn't even put on any eyeshadow. You totally can if you want to, but I'm just showing you an easy, quick morning routine. I have this little tray right there that has like Brad's um, <laughs> like colognes and stuff because this is his side. This is my side, obviously. I stuck it right there. I didn't know you could see it. Whatever. Okay, so um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'm about ready. I'm about ready to do a vlog. And, oh my gosh, you guys, so many fun decor things to talk about. Um, I'll, of course, show you the closet. I mean, that's not, doesn't have anything to do with the wall. I can always show that separately anytime. Um, so that will be coming up. So if you saw that, I just blended that. And it kind of almost makes it, like, really soft. And then go back again and layer it, not over the whole thing, but just right, because you've obviously blended it up like a lot, just right at the lash line. So it just kind of gradually gets darker. That's a good little trick. And then, you know, I don't take time doing a wing or anything. Um, this is just like a way to look put together, but to not look like, wow, she only spent like two seconds. Like, I mean, maybe that is what it looks like. I don't know, but it doesn't look like you've just thrown yourself together. I'm gonna show you what I do with my hair too. I love my brow pomade by Anastasia and honestly sometimes I feel like that might even go faster than a pencil because it just transfers so much faster but I use this sometimes too this is the blonde and this is the what is this even called brow definer it's the one with the fat angled end and I just define the bottom a lot more I kind of fill my brows in differently than I used to, and I think they're looking so much better. They're just a different shape anyways. Like they're, like I was saying in that last video, they're just smoother right here. It's not like, eh, and then it goes up and there's like a big hook. It's just so much better. So like, that's good. Like I don't have to do anything else, but. And then I just don't really fill in the middle much. I just kind of, especially like on a easy day. So I feel like we need to catch up. Like there's so much to talk about. Um, just like in stuff that's changed around the house, I know you guys for years have always loved decor stuff and like kind of seeing what I'm doing there and I obviously love to share that kind of stuff. Yeah, so the whole idea is I'm keeping it simple. I don't want to like go overboard with this. I don't have to do any kind of um, eyeshadow or anything. Do I want to do, yeah, I'll do a little bit of a, so I've been using the Sweetie Pie bronzer. Love it so much. Um, it's the peach one. And the tones in it are just so good. You can even use it, like I said, for eyeshadow. But anyways, it's a good trip coming up. And it's like a very unfall type place we're going. And then like I need to bust out like swimsuits and like dresses and like easygoing stuff. I don't know. I don't know what time of year it is. It's just bizarre. Like 
I don't know. This is the most unfall fall. And I guess every year it's always a little bit like that, you know, like we just all kind of get impatient. And of course, like when you're talking about fashion and stuff, people start talking about fall and dang like March. No, I'm kidding. Um, you know what I mean though? Okay. So look, do you see how good that is? I really love this. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. This just could not be easier. Like sometimes I don't even turn it on. Like I just use what's left, but it's the, um, what is this? The Charlotte Tilbury, uh, highlight. It's so good. Let me close it. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, like, so I'm trying to like get that together. My clothes are a freaking mess because everything is kind of like in between because not everything's organized and set up. And so the whole like new closet and all that stuff is just not like completely done. Um, so I, have, I feel like my clothes are just a mess. I don't know what I'm going to bring. I don't know what to do. I feel like I don't know, if we were like going to the mountains or something, even if it was gonna be like a little warmer, that would even feel more fall. But like when you're going to the beach or when, it's just so weird, right? We take this trip every, I don't know what it is. I think I'm just really impatient about fall this year. I'm just like ready for it to happen. I'm using the Better Than Sex mascara. It's just easy. Like some mascaras that I have take forever to build, you know what I mean? Like you have to keep going back and working with them. Um, and then I said that I'll probably have to do that one with it, that with this today, but no, this one's just so good. Um, so I don't know. I it's just weird, but um, oh my gosh, the house is a wreck. Someone was asking me the other day. Speaking of like decorating and stuff, we were talking about like kids and like I was saying like when I'm getting ready, so like Olivia just plays. I've never and you guys have even asked me that years ago and when I was doing a, like about decorating with a small child and stuff when I was pregnant everyone kind of knew like from my vlogs and from my blog years ago that I like to decorate my house and they were like oh you have to put away all your stuff and someone even said that to me the other day that's why I was thinking of this I was talking about decorating what was I talking about in a video or something like a vlog or maybe that's what I was saying like I'm gonna do a decor vlog soon it is coming up you guys I'm in the mood to do it right I have to be in the mood um and what were, what were we talking about I was talking about something oh it's something like wallpaper or something I had done they were like oh well you'll have so much more fun decorating your house now that your kid's older or now that she you know when your kid gets older and I'm thinking like no it's the total opposite for me like, I've never held back or done anything because, like, obviously you have to keep your house safe. That's a given. You baby-proof your house. But to me, that's never meant, like, putting up things. I was like that with Waylon, too. I never put stuff away. I just taught him not to touch stuff or not to chew on things. Or when he would go for the cabinets or when he would go for something he wasn't supposed to, I'd just, like, shove a chewy in his mouth or something, you know what I mean? And he never messed up anything. Everyone told us your golden retriever is gonna ruin your house. Everyone told us when you have rentals, they're gonna get burned down, they're gonna get destroyed. Like, no, never. I don't know, it's like everything that everyone ever tells us like doesn't happen. Oh no, I think it's just your, I know that's like not a comparison, but seriously, like everyone freaks you out about everything. Um. Everyone like wants to freak you out about everything. I think it's like people sometimes, everyone has different styles though. Like for me with Olivia, I never put up a single thing. I had stuff sitting out, I had like coffee table. Um, when we did have the coffee table, I then moved that so she could like have more room. But in the living room we do, um, stuff sitting around everywhere. And cabinets that were always open. And it was just like, no, like just, I just taught her not to, I just taught her not to touch it. And it's funny because it's kind of like um, when I was a kid, and this is Whirl, um, you're going to see like what I do on my lips is so easy. This will last all day. So don't like say, oh, I'm just going to put on lip balm, which is totally fine. That's what I do a lot of times. But I don't like on the day, like I don't want to put on like a liquid lipstick. I, mean, I can, but I don't know. This, if you put on a MAC lip pencil, some brands are very creamy, so stick with MAC. If you put on a MAC lip pencil in either Dervish or Whirl, just stick it on. It'll be there like all day. Like it will kind of just define your lips just slightly. You can even fill your lips in with them, which is what I kind of do a little. Um, but yeah, like growing up, my mom was the same way. My mom still has a, like my mom has a ton of stuff. Like I don't have, I'm more like a minimal, like I don't have a lot of stuff. Um, 
I like things and like little things that make me happy, but I don't have a ton of stuff, but my mom has always had like a lot of things, a lot of like nice things sitting around. And she's always taught me not to touch them. Like that's how I kind of grew up. But not even not to touch them. Like Olivia's allowed, I never told her like you can't touch that. You know what I mean? Like I just taught her to be careful with stuff. And then not to touch things that were dangerous, not to get into cabinets. And she just never got into them. So if you're like gonna have kids, or you're freaked out, or you like have, because you know, Brad and I got married and we didn't have Olivia for like how many years? Six years, seven, seven years? Like I always like my house to look nice. I always like to decorate, like I always had stuff out. So if you're the same way, don't be afraid. And I never was, and that never crossed my mind once and it's just never been an issue. She has like cool stuff in her room and she's like, oh, this is pretty. Yeah, she has some of those like little roses and she brings them and smells them and puts them back. And she kind of knows to be careful with stuff. Um, but if you don't, ever, but if you just kind of wipe your house and you take everything down, obviously you're not gonna like leave something dangerous out. Like, like I said, don't be stupid. Like it's about like baby proofing your house and like putting things up on your stairs and being safe. I am like the biggest stickler for that. Um, but you just can't, this is the Sarah Hap lip slip, but if you like wipe your whole house and take everything down, your kid's gonna go nuts when they go to someone else's house or when you go into public, like when you go somewhere in public where there is stuff to touch. Just kinda like teach your kid not to touch stuff. I don't know, and just like do your thing. Like everyone was always like, oh your white couch is gonna get destroyed. Never did. Actually it's like better than if we have like a grody dark colored couch that was just what, like sitting dirty all the time. And you can't clean colors like you can white. So I don't know, I'm the biggest like advocate for white furniture and for stuff like that. I don't know why I got on this tangent, but I guess we're talking about vlogs and stuff. Um, I just thought that was so interesting. But yeah, so then I put a little bit of clear brow gel. We'll do more like vloggy stuff soon. And a lot of stuff coming up that's like um, some updates and stuff like that. I really do like this Benefit brow gel. I really do, the ready, set, brow. But you gotta put it on very thin. Like I have noticed if you ever get a little gloop of it, it's like cement, like it will like pull your brows out if you go to like, like try to get it out. Do you know what I mean? Like, but it will keep them in place, which is important for me because I have very hairy brows. Now I don't put blush on on the daily. Am I done? I feel like, yeah, I guess so. Um, a little bit of perfume. I don't know what to do. Oh, I've been back into my um, my Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt lately. Oh, love it so much. Um, what else? Yeah, so I'm just wearing this with some leggings, but later, like, I could put on, or I could take this off if it gets hot, you know? But um, I could put on, like, some booties or, like, some, like, nicer pants. I have a little more time, so we'll talk about this. I was gonna put on some jewelry, and I was gonna say that's just the easiest thing uh, put on some like cute earrings. These are just go-tos. They're like, they're CZ studs that look so realistic. They're beautiful. Um, these are just my favorite, favorite earrings. I love them. Love them so much. They make any outfit just look nice and put together. Put on some jewelry, it couldn't be easier. Bobble Bar, I'm so excited. So I just got these two new pieces from Bobble Bar. They have the new like finer jewelry line, which I'm living for. It's, I think it's called like Everyday Fine, which is perfect for me because it's not fancy, but it doesn't look like costume jewelry. It's sterling silver pieces that are plated with gold. This one is gorgeous. It's like, oh, so good. Don't want to wear that one. I don't know. I kind of want to wear this one. This one's just very simple. The chains are so nice. The latches are so nice. This one just has a really simple, um, isn't that pretty? Just like with the most simple sweatshirt, but it doesn't look like too much. I love this one so much. These are like my new favorite girls, you think? Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, yeah. Love it. Yeah, like don't take yourself so seriously. Like sweat like sweatshirts are so cute. Now I said that in a video the other day and it was just like I wasn't even thinking about it. I was like, yeah, take this sweatshirt, like put on something cute with it, and someone was like, Yeah, right, you would never do that. And I'm thinking, I do every day, like, have you seen me? Okay, so I let my hair air dry last night, so it's kind of like a little weird, and it always gets like kind of just shiny, and that's kind of strange, I don't know. Um, so to keep it from looking a little shiny and like like dirty shiny, which it's not, it's just kind of shiny, I like to use a little bit 
So I like to use a little bit of dry shampoo just to kind of um, give it some, a little bit of something. I'll be honest with you guys. I used to just like every day live for dry shampoo. I would dry my hair and then put like dry shampoo and like perfectly clean hair. I don't feel like I need to do that now. But if I have that like shininess going on, like from where it's too clean or something, like if it does air dry and it gets that, sometimes I don't feel like I have to do that. My ring always smacks my hair. Then I put a little in. Olivia rearranged my drawers here. She likes to swap everything in my drawers and put them back. And all my brushes are like <gasps> different. Yeah, I kind of just like do that to fluff my hair up. And I just kind of like part it. Some days, if I have a lot of time, I might like curl it or something. Um, and then it's just kind of nice for a couple days. Like today, this would totally be fine. It's just straight, it's easy. It's kind of calming down. Does your hair do that? Like even if you have really straight hair, it gets a little fluffy when, I don't know, when it's air dried and you've had it up. So it's totally fine, I would wear it like that. But um, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put it back in a ponytail. But I'm gonna keep it really sleek. Am I gonna keep the part in it? I either like to put my hair in like really like high mom buns, like just real messy. Or I kind of do it like this and just kind of keep whatever part I have in it and um, just pull it straight back, like right at the base. Yeah, like right at the base of your neck, I guess, like neck and skull. And then twirl it around a few times and then tuck it once. Just really easy. This is like a good, like, everyday hair thing or hairstyle that looks sleek that doesn't I, I like a messy though i like a messy mom bun but this is a little sleeker i like to wear this in the fall when i wear turtlenecks and uh, i love wearing my hair like this i do that because sometimes like when you wear your hair down in the fall and you've got all these sweaters it's just too much you know um you see what i did i, I kind of like tucked you know how like there's always like a big piece hanging down i just flip it under and just tuck it into one of the bands so it's almost like you've got two little humps. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to kind of like come on here. I feel like this kind of had like some vloggy moments anyways. And I feel myself like I want to talk to you guys. Like I just want to like talk about random stuff. Because like I said, it's hard in like regular videos. And um, these last few months have been so crazy. When you see me on here, you see like less than a percent of my life. Like I don't share everything. And it's like there have been just exciting fun things but just so much has been going on and there's been like trips that I haven't sh things that I just have not even wanted to vlog because not that I not that I don't like to it's just I have to be in the mood to and sometimes you're just in the moment and you just don't have to you just don't want to you know um but I'm in the mood to do that again I never get out of the mood to do like videos like this but sometimes like vlogging where you're filming you know, just like your house or your life or just things. Sometimes I'm just like, meh, like I don't wanna do that. You know, like to me, I'm very like, my time is my time and I do exactly what I wanna do. And I just, I have been really, um, you know, and I don't think people should ever feel like they have to do that. That's why, I don't know. Um, but I love sharing at the same time and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about some stuff and to show you guys some updates and, um, so I know that you guys kind of like, like the same stuff that I do. You like seeing decor stuff and doing all that. We've got some things, a few updates that I'm doing in here. I still haven't framed these mirrors. My side is, that's Brad's side. My side is a lot bigger than his side. Um, cause I've got this like vanity area right here. But, um, we need to frame the mirrors still. We kept these countertops when we did our like whole bathroom reno. But I think that we're going to, uh, we might change those, I don't know. Um, there's just a lot of stuff going on, I don't know, I just, I just wanna share some stuff and talk about some things, and I feel like this video kinda went there in some ways, I'm just like, I don't know, sometimes I just wanna talk about random stuff, I like how I'm feeling, so I don't know, okay, so basically, I hope that you guys, just, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how I kinda get ready um, quickly, and um, yeah, this can totally be done in under five minutes. Get yourself together in the morning. It makes you feel so much better throughout the day. And like me, you know, I'm, I never know what we're going to do. You know, I never, we are, we're outside, we're inside, we're at the park, we're down the street, we're doing different things. And I don't want to just be like in my pajamas, like frumped out all day, but at the same time I want to be me. And I love being cozy. If it's hotter, throw on a t-shirt, you know, just, just very simple. I love 
this jewelry is like some of my new favorite stuff and it's kind of similar to a lot of the stuff I wear anyways like my little initial pendant things which would look so good with this but see that's what I'm saying like do you see how easy this is this is l and I'll link to everything like everything is just like nice and put together you don't look like a slob but at the same time you don't look like you're like super glammed out just to like live your everyday life this whole thing like literally I can get ready in like under five minutes every day um, when I get that new moisturizer, I'll share it with you guys. I hope I like it. I think I will. Like, do you see how, like, it's just simple? And it doesn't look like, wow, she's wearing, like, a big gold chain. Like, it looks like she's doing too much. I don't know. I just, I just love that. That's just very simple. Throw on with some leggings. You're good to go. Carry your nice bag and make a day of it. So, here's the thing. Um, like I said, I will be back soon. Vlogs are coming up. So many fun things are coming up. Um, like I did mention, there is kind of a... A, well, there's a few trips, a few things that are coming up, but um, I might vlog a little during that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I just kind of wanted to be real and show you how I got ready in the morning. And how it's really not a big deal. It would take like five minutes, but when you're doing video and you're talking and you're rambling and everything. Obviously, for me, this is probably like a 40-minute video. Let's not even lie. Um, but anyways, I'll link to everything below. I hope you guys are having... Um, I hope that you will have a great week. I don't want to be like a downer and be like, oh, it's Monday. But, um, but have the best week ever, you guys. I have just, I'm so excited to share so much fun stuff with you guys coming up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, love y'all so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.